Hi there, everybody. As you can see earlier, I did the song Wind Cries Mary by Jimi Hendrix, and I just thought I'd have a look at some of the guitar work in this song. So, um, Hendrix is a great influence on me, uh, and one of the things he does, which I like, is inversion. And this is where we take a chord, like an A, for example, and we sort of turn it in on itself, so that it's still an A chord, but it has a slightly different kind of arrangement. So you hear this in music all the time. So it's like the, the same ingredients are there, but it's flipping over itself. That's the way I think of it. It's a nice kind of uh, somersault kind of vibe. And he uses this to great effect in, in, in a lot of his songs. It, it's actually one of his basic techniques. Uh, and it just, it adds a lot of variety without adding different chords. I mean, yes, you're changing the way you play the chord, but you're not changing the actual essential chord. And I think this is an important idea. So, for example, your A can be played like this. In the song Wind Cries Mary, it's a little harder because we're starting with a, a B flat, which is here. We go up one fret for a B, then another fret for a C. Now, as you can see, it's the same shape, yeah, which gives that very distinctive opener. Now here's the beauty, here's where it changes into the inverted chord. So that's how he gets that lovely effect. So here is the kind of the middle of the B, if you like, or the, the guts of the B there, the B flat, sorry. So here's B flat, and now the inverted form is. Then we have the B, inverted form, and the C, and its inverted form. There is more detail to this. There are actually two inversions, but I don't want to cloud the waters too much. The main idea here really is that you can take a simple chord progression, B flat, B, C, and add some magic by playing the inverted chords. So it's the same progression twice, just the second time around you're doing the inversion. So this is that very distinctive. The other technique I'm adding, you may notice, is a hammer-on. So I'm actually, another one of Hendrix's favorite techniques, to hammer on uh, one of the notes while you're actually playing the rest of the chord. Contain, you know, uh, which, which gives you even more movement within the chord itself. So you've got the movement of the progression, the change of the inversion, the original again, Adding in the movement of the hammer on. So there you go. That's just a little technique focus there based on the wind cries. Mary, I hope you enjoy. Uh, have a go. See where you get to with that. Thanks. See you next time.